What is up, bees, G's, and everyone in between? It is Yali, and it's been a while, but let's not focus on that. Um, I want to talk about political correctness, um, mainly because it's been in the news, and there's been a lot of uh, things happening, uh, like that Yale University student who started yelling at uh, her prof um, because of an email about uh, Halloween costumes. And uh, that's not necessarily political correctness, it's more of like that safe space culture, but I think it still it stems from the same place um, as political correctness and all that good shit. Um, <clears throat> I, and another, another reason why I want to talk about this is because uh, I get like a lot of comments, actually more than, more than uh, I'd actually expect in, like, in an online forum. Uh, asking me to not swear or not whatever, and I've made a video on uh, censorship before. Uh, I made actually two because um, I forgot I made one, so I made another one. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, like I, I've made it. I made a video like stating my stance and how I think censorship is wrong because it's ultimately a waste of energy because you can't control what other people say. All you can do is control what you say, and that's pretty much my stance on political correctness is you first of all you are not a politician <laughs> you do not need to sound like a politician you your job isn't for everyone to like you everyone is not supposed to like you some people are supposed to hate you and you'll become a better person for them hating you you have to get through that you can't you can't worry you can't worry about everyone's feelings all the time you cannot live your life walking on eggshells or else you're gonna be just insecure all the time and you're gonna be a miserable person um, but that's like taking it to a really extreme like political correctness if you were uh, trying to be as PC as humanly possible like one of the, some of those feminazis are trying to do and um, oh, with all the safe space culture and stuff in universities um, I think those people, whoever, if you use a safe space and like, I don't know, like, there, like I get safe spaces and like, if there was a A and A group or or A A group or uh, I don't know, like a, a, say there's like a rape victims group and they go and they talk to each other. I get it. That should be a safe space. Like that that makes sense. I I fully understand that and I understand the necessity for it. But when it comes to being in a university or being on the internet. There is no safe space. There is no expectation. You should have no expectation of safety in terms of your ideas. Your ideas should always be challenged, and you shouldn't be afraid of that. And if you are, that means you're holding your ideas too central to your identity. And if you, if you take your ideas and you make them a part of you, you're not ever going to change your mind on the topic. Um, and that's why, again, it's important to make sure that your ideas are different than your identity uh, and always be willing to change another thing that that stems from this uh, PC culture um, is censorship and again I've already made two videos so if you want to see them um, although I don't think they're like well well made because I did make them quite a while ago and my views might have changed a little bit but um, so recently actually recently on my channel somebody asked like for me to not use the word retarded in one of my videos, and I get what they're coming from. Like, they're, they're, there's no ill intent behind that sentiment. Like, they're trying to be more inclusive and um, and whatnot. But at the same time, first of all, that's just my speech pattern. Like, I, me and my friends, we bust each other's balls. We'll call each other retarded, and we'll just like we'll make jokes and shit. Cause like we are, we're, we know we're not what we're calling each other. We're sec secure enough with ourselves to know that not to take this stuff personally and and I understand that that some of the like the, the point of view of, of wanting me to stop using that word on my channel is there are people out there who are gonna take it seriously but don't watch my videos then if you are offended by my videos I you literally need just press pause and click away and that's all you have to do and if I've ever offended you to the, the point where you felt necessary to click to click away, I'm sorry, but that's that's how it works. Like again, you're not supposed to like everyone, and some people are just supposed to hate you. And I can't come on this. Uh, I can't come come to my channel and record a commentary with me holding back uh, some of my language because I speak like that. I speak uh, with 
with swear words, I speak with, um, I don't know, slurs and whatnot. I, I'm not speaking it in this video because it, the conversation doesn't really call for it. I mean, it does, but it, I didn't need to. But, like, I'll use it in, like, my everyday speech, or I use it to, like, throw emphasis on a sentence or whatever. But, again, I'm using it in a way that I'm comfortable with, in a way that I think other people will understand where I'm coming from. Um, and for me to censor that, to me to, for me to stop that, I'd have to be something I'm not on my channel. And fuck you, I'm not doing that. <laughs> like, real recognizes real, and you guys would know if I wasn't being um, myself on my channel. So, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the break. Um, more videos to come. Peace.